In November 2020, Demerara Bank was signed to the Inter-American Development Bank's Trade Finance Facilitation Program and was granted a line of credit facility to be used to support local small and medium enterprises. On Wednesday, the credit was disbursed to five local companies in the mining, agriculture and manufacturing sectors. The beneficiaries are manufacturing giant Demerara Distillers Limited, two family-operated group of rice mills, a. Kayum Hack and Son and Golden Fleece Rice Investment, and two companies involved in the gold mining industry, Dinar Trading and Pure Diamonds Inc. Demar Bank's application over the years, which has seen it grown into one of the leading domestic banks, was repeatedly credited and praised for ensuring the manifestation of the much needed partnership at a time when local businesses are reeling from the effects of countrywide flooding and amid the global COVID 19 pandemic. During a ceremony at the bank's headquarters in Camp Road, Georgetown on Wednesday, where the first batch of approved businesses was issued letters of sanction, the bank's chief executive officer, Pravin Chantra Davi, explained that while the institution welcomed the financing through the IDB, it hopes to ensure it is paid off on good terms so that the line of credit can be widened going forward. Where they have promises that this is the first thing and it will be revolving. Once you pay it off, then you can, you can get it again. Okay? and we want to widen our network. In this facility also, we are, uh, we are helping two big rice millers who in turn will try to help those farmers. Additionally, IDB's country representative Sophie McConnell explained that the discussions to ensure the line of credit lasted for about three years. She said it started with many of the same persons present in the room on Wednesday and it ignited an emotion of satisfaction that even during the pandemic, this could have been achieved. She said the IDB was happy to support local banks, which as part of the private sector is poised to lead Guyana's economic transformation. We recognize the importance of supporting growth and the, and the growth is also about supporting the private sector because it's critical and fundamental and it's a part of the development of a country and with all the opportunities that are now presenting themselves and we all know we see it coming, uh, the private sector is po poised to be part of this transformation and the banks are here to support the private sector, uh, thus the line of credit. And why? The small businesses, they play a crucial role in the economy because they are the main source of employment, not in Latin America or in the Caribbean, and Guyana is no different. Meanwhile, addressing the impact of this partnership on the local economy, Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh said the government's role in ensuring the environment was conducive must not be ignored. He congratulated Demerara Bank for being the first Guyanese bank to access the facility and says he hopes it expands across the local private sector. If I'm not mistaken, Demerara Bank is the first Guyanese bank to access this facility. I believe one other Guyanese bank has since accessed the facility. But I congratulate you on being the first Guyanese bank to have accessed the TFFP facility through the IDB. Um, and I congratulate the IDB for taking this very important step to partner with the domestic financial sector. He noted that Guyana is on the verge of remarkable transformation of its economy and once it gets over the countrywide flooding and the COVID-19 pandemic, more partnerships like this would be welcomed. The finance minister said he was particularly happy that the beneficiaries were from the non-oil sector. But the most touching remarks came from Dr. Yesu Prasad as chairman of the bank, with a resounding promise that the institution continues its service to the Guyanese public for many years to come. He recalled how he spent years carrying the idea of opening a bank and then being turned down several times for the license before finally being granted one through the auspices of former president, the late Dr. Chedi Jagan. The Mara Bank was launched with problems, but we've been able to overcome those problems and today I am saying this, I am proud to say, I believe we are on the turn now, we are likely before the end of this year to be the number one bank in Guyana, coming way back without any help and our customer we are second chair. We are only second. No, we are only second, but I am anticipating. Yeah, we should go. Mr. Dave? Yes. I am challenging you now. Yes, I agree. 
accept you. I, I am fully accept you. In a message to the bank's customers and clients, Dr. Prasad says, we hope we wouldn't let you down. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.